in these problems, we're being asked to simplify some higher radicals. In this case, a fifth root down here, we've got a third root to take, and we've got multiple variables inside here. And my recommendation would be to take this one piece at a time. We've got a number piece, we've got the t variable, we've got the w variable. So fifth root of this number piece, the fifth root of 32. Uh, if you don't happen to know it, the fifth root of 32 is 2. You could test it on a calculator and find that out. By now, probably this has become familiar to you. you maybe you've gotten used to your powers of 2. Uh, you could always look them up. But this one, this part of the problem, not too hard. The fifth root of 32 is just 2. So that's going to go outside our uh, fifth root uh, radical symbol here. And I'm, I'm going to make the radical symbol, but leaving some space to add in other chunks that we're going to pull outside. Now, when we get to the variables, you should think about this as pulling out groups of five. We have eight t's multiplied because this is t to the eighth power. If I pull out five of those and take the fifth root, that just becomes one t out here. What I've done is pulled away five from the inside, which means I have three left. So inside the radical symbol, I have t to the third. I'm going to do the same thing with the w. I'm taking out groups of 5. How many groups of 5 can I have in uh, w to the 13th? Well, there's 13 here. Uh, 10 will fit in there, so that's two groups of 5. So I would have w squared out here to represent those two groups. And once I've taken those two groups of 5 away, that just leaves three w's inside. So I wrote that in a way that's kind of hard to see. Let me rewrite that. So on the outside, I ended up with 2 t w to the second times the fifth root of t to the third, w to the third. Let's try another one here. We have the third root of 72. And off the top of my head, I don't know um, that the third root uh, of 72 is some uh, whole number. So let's do some factoring first with the 72. So 72 is 9 times 8. Aha, and 8, I know I can take the third root of that. So if I take the third root of 8, it becomes 2. And inside, I'm left with my third root of 9 still. And I can't take a third root of that. Uh, 9 is 3 squared, but it's not 3 cubed. So this is the number part that I have left. So let me start assembling my answer here. I've got a 2 on the outside so far. I'm going to leave a little space for the variables. And then my third root symbol. And I've got a 9 left over on the inside so far. Now let's try the t part. We have t to the fifth, so there are five t's there. I can take three of them out, which puts one t up front, and leaves two t's behind. And then I've got u to the 15th. Um, well, I've got five groups of three in there, and um, that's all of them. So I can put u to the fifth out here and leave nothing inside. And this is our final answer then, 2t u to the fifth times the third root of 9t squared. So that's a little bit of work with uh, simplifying some higher radical expressions.